The remarkable woman you're about to meet has faced incredible obstacles in her life. She wasn't even expected to see her first birthday, but now she's in her 50s and determined to stay grateful and give back to her community. Veronica Cooper has her story. I was born drug and alcohol addicted as a child, which means that my mother was in bad shape. Born three pounds, five ounces, with a life expectancy of four months, Amber Rain Shadow has triumphed over devastating challenges. My first language is actually the sign language. Yeah. So I didn't speak till I was 10. Amber lived in a group home for a while. Then a friend spotted an ad and asked her, What do you think about living on your own? I'm like, me? Uh, maybe. The ad was from Pacifica Housing, one of Vancouver Island's largest affordable housing providers. We have units throughout Vancouver Island in Victoria, Saanich, Duncan and Nanaimo. Our aim is to create better lives through affordable homes and community connections. The most amazing part about Pacifica is that I said, look, and I was just starting to be brave, I can't read, so you're going to have to help me fill out the forms. They read every single form to me and actually showed me where to sign. That was 30 years ago. She is someone who is a perfect example of what having housing security can do to somebody. But as Amber got older, her body began falling apart. But I couldn't sit up and like what you see now is not what I was 12 years ago. I mean, I couldn't move my hands, my neck or anything. She pleaded for a sports therapist and got Jenny Daniels. And from then on, she became a surrogate kind of parent to me, too. And that's why I can do what I do. Tragically, Jenny died of breast cancer on Valentine's Day 2012. And so, every year since, on the 14th of February, Amber, now 54, fundraises with a 5K swim. She is such an inspiration for us at here. We're just so proud of her and we're so proud of the fundraising she's done. And uh, we treasure every time she comes in with her and her lovely companion dog. Money raised from this year's swim will go to Pacifica Housing. And it's going to go to their youth program. Click on our links tab to support Amber's swim. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.